What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We've got a great video for you guys today. Uber is facing a pretty decent lawsuit for discrimination yet again. Always something with them. Before we jump into this video, we wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor Solo. Solo is a phenomenal app. As you hopefully know, you get guaranteed earnings for using the app. It's going to be based off your city and the hours you drive. And one of the best parts is by using our unique code in the description below, you can get $15 for free just for signing up. So get the free 15 bucks, get a lunch on us, check out the app. I promise you will love it. And let's dive in. Uber has agreed to pay more than $2 million to settle claims brought by the U.S. government that its wait time fees discriminated against customers with disabilities. The firm also agreed to waive charges for disabled users in the future. More than a thousand people had complained about the fees, which often kick in if it takes more than two minutes to get into the car. I thought it was five, but hmm. Uber said its policy was to refund wait fees for disabled riders. In resolving the lawsuit, the ride hailing company denied wrongdoing. It has long been our policy to refund wait time fees for riders with a disability when they alerted us that they were charged, the company said adding that it had made changes before the lawsuit to have disabled riders wait time fees waived automatically when Uber is notified that they were charged. Uber started charging wait time fees in some cities in 2016, eventually expanding the practice according to the lawsuit, which the U.S. Department of Justice filed last November. Hmm. The average fee was less than 60 cents, the company said at the time. Under the terms of the deal, Uber agreed to pay more than $1.7 million to about 1,000 riders who complained, as well as five hundred grand more to some people identified as by the Department of Justice. Officials said the settlement would also yield hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in compensation for the more than 65,000 people who have signed up for the waivers. People with disabilities should not be made to feel like second-class citizens or punished because of their disability, which is exactly what Uber's wait time fee policy did, said Assistant AG Kirsten Clark in a statement. It is not the first time that Uber has found itself in hot water over disability uh, issues. Last year, it was ordered to play a blind woman. Uh, last year, it was ordered to pay a blind woman in San Francisco 1.1 million dollars after she was refused rides on 14 occasions. In the UK, Paralympic medalist Jack Hunter Spivy said that Uber and other taxi drivers regularly dro regularly drove off when they saw that he was a wheelchair user. That is jacked up, man. I I've only ever had a couple of passengers that had wheelchairs, but it's not that big of a deal. It really doesn't take that long compared to picking someone up at the airport and putting like eight bags of luggage in your car. It's you know you help them in the seat. You fold up their wheelchair for them and you stick them in the trunk. It's not that big of a deal. Goodness. But anyway, so yet another lawsuit for them. Um, just never ends with Uber. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out Solo linked in the description if you like making more money. And I will talk to you guys soon.